hey guys you're welcome to my youtube channel today if you are new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming my name is bossinola razak yeah if you're meeting me for the first time and i live here in sweden and i've been in sweden for more than two years now yeah i'm a phd student in sweden now yeah <laughs> i just need to put that put that out there i'm a student and um yeah so on my channel i talk about sweden life in sweden in general i talk about academics i talk about you know um, policies and everything that is related to sweden lifestyle i talk about faith and, and all that good stuff so today i got a um a request to make a video for medical pr practitioners that are not resided in or that are not in the resident so this video today will be about the med medical professionals how to how you can get licensed in sweden and so on so if you are in this position and you want to learn about this this video is actually for you so watch to the end yeah without further ado let me jump right into what i have today yeah you're welcome back so yeah um for you to be to practice as a medical practitioner in sweden because in sweden medical profession it's it's not something that you can just double into or something you can just get into sweden today and then start working no you need a license because it's a very sensitive um very sensitive um, department let me put that with our organization and then you know it's it's you know, it has a lot of risk risk of life most especially and you know most of these countries are so key about everyone's life so if you're a medical practitioner you cannot just come into sweden today and then you want to start practicing no there's a process and today i'm going to be telling you that process yeah so um to for you to practice as a medical practitioner in sweden it's of three scenarios the first scenario is if you an eu citizen that's one then the second scenario is if you're an eu citizen if you are a non-eu or EEA citizen that is if you are not eu at all but then you have like three to five years experience in the eu region you know for example maybe in denmark finland you know all those Schengen and european countries uk yeah that if though you're not from eu but you have experience that is another scenario then the third scenario is if you are a non-eu at all non-eu no experience and yeah due to my audience i got into the algorithm i have more of african audience and today's video it, i'm not going to be talking about all the three scenarios i'm just only going to be talking about um those that are non-eu and they have no experience here in, in eu or, or whatsoever for example people who are just planning to come into sweden yeah so this video is for you so the number one thing that you should know as a non-eu and no and you don't have any experience in medical um in medical field within the eu the first thing that you need to do as a non-eu and someone who has not worked before in the eu region the first thing you need to do is you're going to send your education certificate for assessment to the swedish national board of health and well-being they need to assess your education and see if you fit into their um their organizations yeah so and to to send your education for assessment you need to fill out an application form on their website so in order for you to fill the application form you need some document you need to get ready some document and i've listed that out i'm going to be mentioning them right now from my notes so the first thing you need to have before you fill that form you need to have you know get ready your copy of passport or a swedish id this is also like when you say swedish id is if you're already in sweden and then maybe you you know sometimes when we are in our country and we apply to study here some people might have medical background and then maybe they just apply for maybe a sustainability course and then they came here for their masters so if you came here for your masters maybe something that is not really related to medical and you know you have your medical background you can always change your profession and that is why they said the swedish id because once you are here for more than one month you will have you would have your swedish id so is that you have a copy of your passport or your swedish um, swedish id so that's number one thing that you should get ready then the second thing is copy 
of the certificate of all your completed education all your you know your medical qualifications your certificate university certificate everything that you have then you get that ready then the third thing is your transcript of records you need to get ready your transcript of records and then in case you have a change of name maybe you you were you are, you are now married and then you ch- you changed your name or due to some reason you changed your name then you need to submit a certified copy of the name change when they mean a certified copy like it has to be endorsed by a law firm you know it has to be licensed for them to accept it so those are the four documents that you should get ready and send to them for assessment so what do you just i would put like a screen recording of how the website looks like it's so user friendly it's just play around the website you'll see all these things then after you've done that then you will wait for them to get back to you after you finish you've applied you filled the form and then you've submitted you will wait for them to get back to you actually this could be like the, the st- not stumbling block like it could be a challenge because in sweden it's kind of we have in Sweden we have a kind of um, what do I call like a compromise environment or you know Sweden they don't just quickly make decisions for people who have applied to Sweden before or people who are in Sweden knows what I'm talking about like in Sweden they, they don't just rush and make decisions on your case they take their time so they access every document so if they need any additional document they will reach out to your case and those additional documents not like other countries that once they you don't submit one uh, uh, one document like this they just cancel your application or something no in sweden they will reach out to you please send us this document and if they need any clarification they'll send you an email please can you explain this and this and this and that so it that's why most time it takes a long time to get all this done it's just like people applying for resident permit to come into sweden it takes a long time to like you, you people that have applied you understand and people who are going to apply you will understand what i'm saying by the time you apply once you apply for a resident permit into sweden it takes <laughs> it takes time it's not like some other countries like uk you know yeah i just had to put that out there so that is that now the thing is in sweden for people who are outside sweden to apply from outside in for, for you to practice as a medical practitioner can be kind of challenging because after the application there are still like requirements like the third step after they've gotten back to the top there is for you to learn how to speak swedish you need to learn how to speak swedish and that's what i don't know how people who are outside sweden can do that but people who are already in sweden doing maybe their masters or whatever can start learning swedish immediately you get into sweden just start learning swedish so by the time you submit your stuff you already have like a knowledge about Swedish so you need to learn also because some of the doctors or some of maybe auxiliary nurses or people who work with elderly care some of them don't speak English so they need you to communicate or even the patient that you'll be attending to some of all these patients don't even understand English so you need to learn how to speak Swedish to be able to communicate and be able to work and you know that medical field is a very sensitive field so they wouldn't want to make a mistake or take any risk if you cannot speak Swedish and they require a Swedish of at least grade E so that's that's like uh, yeah you have to have like a grade E to, to get that and then the next thing that you need to do after you've known your Swedish and all you will do a proficiency test they are going to do like a test for you to know okay do you really know what we do do you really have a knowledge about this thing are you like can you defend your certificate so you are going to do a proficiency test and this test it takes six months to prepare they will give you six months to prepare the, it's the test is divided into two you will do a theoretical test and a practical test so for you to have the theoretical test you will take like um it, they will give you like six months to prepare for that theoretical test then after the theoretical test you have like three months to prepare for the practical exam yeah so that's it then after that after you've passed those exam then the next thing you will do now is then you partake in a course about swedish law and legislation after the test then you now partake in a course about swedish law and, and legislation so that you know 
what you are going into. You will know their law, you know legislation as regards medical line, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do. They will teach you everything and this takes two weeks to complete. Yeah, it takes two weeks. And once you are done with that, you are almost done. The last step for you is then for you to now get an inter- internship of I think three months. Yeah. So you get an internship of three months in a Swedish medical institution. So that is roughly all the process you have to go through. This process is short, but uh, by the time you start doing it, takes, it takes a while, but it's really worth it. It's really worth it. And after you're done with your internship, then they give you your license to practice. Then you earn your big money. Yes, so, yes, I know it's quite a short video. I don't know if it's a short video, but yeah. So to everyone that have been asking me, okay, how do I do medical? How do I get licensed? I, how do I... So these are just the basic steps that you need to follow. So for you to have more knowledge or to increase your knowledge or you have further inquiries, you can always reach out to them and they will be they are very open to, to respond to your maybe your doubts and, and everything. So you can log on to that website, Swedish, the Swedish National Board of Health and Wellbeing, and then play around the website and and get yourself licensed. Yeah, thank you for staying to the end. Thank you for 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 sorry. <laughs> I know you've liked my video. Thank you for liking my video and thank you for subscribing as well. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. My name still is to be t- sorry, my name still remains Bossinola. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.